Wow, what a monster of a plane. It looks like an A380 aircraft. Amazing. Of course, flying hasn't always been this flash. Hi, I'm Chappie Chris. And I'm Chappie Peter. We're from the Booyah Outback Chapel in central western Queensland, Australia. Today, we invite you to visit Longreach and to join us at the Qantas Museum there. The jet you saw landing at the start of this video clip is sure different to the planes with which Qantas started out. Have a look at what Qantas flew in those early days. Its first aircraft was an Avro 504 Diac, which was modified to carry the pilot and up to two passengers. The de Havilland DH-50A was the first Qantas aircraft built in Longreach in August 1926. It was the first plane used by the Aerial Medical Service now known as the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Yes, they hired it from Qantas. Soon followed the de Havilland DH-60 Giant Moth. Have a look in on a lighter note which follows for more information. A Douglas DC-3 or Dakota, also known as the C-47, which was the military version, has been in service since 1936 and is still in use today throughout the world. Join us next for a quick look at a super constellation. These operated the first Qantas Trans-Pacific services between Sydney, San Francisco and Vancouver in 1954. Air travel started to look comfortable with a taste of luxury. No doubt at a cost, Chappie. Yes, no doubt. The Boeing 707s superseded the Constellations, but these were retired in 1979. By the way, Chappie, one of actor John Travolta's prized possessions is a Boeing 707 that he picked up over 20 years ago. Must be great to own your own plane, Chappie. Must be. The largest of the fleet of retired aircraft is the 747, which has now been replaced by the aeroplane you saw landing, the A380. The competitor is the 787, Chappie, known as the Dreamliner. Time doesn't allow us to show all the photos we took. You'll have to visit Longreach yourself. However, the black boxes are revealed in the tail of the 747. These boxes, as you know, are not black, but in fact orange and located in the safest part of the plane, the tail. Yes, good idea. It's the front that crashes first. And hits the hardest, chappy. The black boxes uh, keep a record of crew conversations and flying information suitable for crash investigators. These boxes can be retrieved after a crash to later determine its cause. The information is all there, a complete record. Imagine in the human scenario, if we all had black boxes, how embarrassed we would be to have that data replayed. Yet our Lord knows it all anyway. Because of his great love shown by that first Easter sacrifice that we annually celebrate, we can have our past, present and future recordings of waywardness, rebellion and disobedience to God's ways wiped clean through repentance and trust in the finished and fully paid work of Jesus on the cross. No record found. Have a look at some of the many Bible passages that help us to be clear about this no record found. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting people's sins against them, but cancelling them. Another reading goes like this, and I quote, So repent, change your inner self, your old way of thinking, regret past sins and return to God. Seek his purpose for your life, so that your sins may be wiped away, blotted out, completely erased. Bible teaching tells us, that turning away from our own rebel ways to go God's way by faith in the finished work of Jesus makes us indeed in God's eyes just as if we had never done wrong. Yes, the word for that is justified. We read and I quote, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Some things like aeroplanes change, but happily God's message to us, his desire to restore us to relationship with himself and his promises don't change. The Lord said to his people and I quote, I alone will blot out your sins for my own sake and will never think of them again. And to reassure us we also read that God has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. That sounds pretty final does not chappy? No record of our wrong can be found. We are justified friends again with God. Wow, Chappie. There's a warning there for us not to be complacent though and continue thinking, saying and doing wrong intentionally. 
we read, should we continue in sinning that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Yes, indeed, we wouldn't want to anyway, would we, Chappie, if we were true blue followers of Jesus? That's for sure. Incidentally, we also read that love doesn't keep a record of wrongs that others do. It's great that God keeps no record of wrongs for those who choose to follow him and become his children. It's also great that we each are exhorted to keep no record of wrongs in our relationships with each other as God's children. There's a challenge there. Yeah, there certainly is, isn't there? And now a prayer. Lord, thank you that for we who follow you, there is no record found of our failures, wrongs and shortcomings as these were placed on Jesus who took our punishment for these very things. Thank you that I am justified and there is no record found. Amen. Well, that's all for now. Goodbye. Yes, cheerio. Stay tuned for on a lighter note and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.